Short Stories by George Hutton The Dark Wood As the Roman Empire expands, Hibernia avoids annihilation. Lucky the Romans didn't like a howling wind and rain. With wars brewing all across Europa, the Roman Empire, the world, was in chaos. The people of Hibernia looked on as the Romans laid waste to anyone in their way. Hibernia was safe. Or was it? Obviously I wasn't there myself, but many stories remain. Such as the one I'm about to tell you. There were old myths and fables that the island was haunted by an unknown entity. For the families that lived there, they often lived in fear. Shadows stored in the woods that surrounded them. Wolves howling, voices screaming. Father, what was that? Get inside, Michael. But Father... Get inside! As Owen sat there, knowing that his livelihood was in the wood, that surrounded him, he was filled with fear, and his thoughts began to stir. What is it that makes my blood stir, and the very hairs on my neck stand upon my nervous skin? What ghastly demon haunts the very woods that provide my family with food and shelter? Must I venture into the darkness? There is no time to question myself. For my family, I must go. Ah, me troubled husband. Your food is getting cold. You must come and eat. Leave me be. Myra, left knowing her husband's mind was restless. Just as she went back inside, Owen lifted his axe, some bread, water, and set off towards the dark wood. He stood at six foot, four inches tall, and had seen much bloodshed from tribal wars with the Picts. But he knew that this battle would be no ordinary fight. When he reached the wood, there was a loud scream. What stars? Leave now! As my ancestors watch me, I tell you, foul spirit, I shall not leave. So be it. Red eyes appeared in the shadows. Large demon wolves set upon Owen. He flung his axe with great ferocity. The wolves never stood a chance. Demon, show yourself or leave this place. The darkness had lifted from the wood. But Owen was bleeding heavily from his wounds. You will not die. Owen woke in his home. The darkness was gone. But why was he spared? It seems we will never know.